This is the Pain-Free Rig Suite Quick Start for Artists. Hello! In this Artist's Quick Start, I'm going to walk you through setting up your scene, quickly setting up a testing rig, binding your mesh, and saving the princess from Bowser. Alright, so here we are in a new scene. First thing you're going to do is import your mesh. Here I have a four-armed girl. Beautiful. Next, we're going to open up our script editor by clicking down here in this button, and we're going to run the script that's provided in the README file. This will launch our tool. Next, we're going to go ahead and click on Rig Root, and then click the new slash update rig root button. This will create a rig root in our scene. And next, we're going to go ahead and save this current file. I'm going to call this artist demo. Always keep your rig file separate from your source mesh file, as you can re-import the mesh easily if you update it. Here on our tool, we are set to the category of rig setup, and the operation is limb setup. First thing we're going to do is right click in the limb section and we're just going to go ahead and load templates. It's the only option we have available. And from here I'm going to load the half body. And here it's populated our limb hierarchy with all of our limbs. And magically all of our joints have been positioned correctly. However, we are missing a second set of limbs for our lower arm. So what we're going to do is right click and load template again. And this time we're going to select arm and we're going to go ahead and give it a suffix of lower and click load selected, and this will create our second arm. I'm gonna go ahead and select the clavicle lower and use the move tool by pressing W. I'm gonna move that down and slowly start to position this for our lower arm. Now, we can select all of these limbs right here, and that'll select all of the joints as that's a part of this. Now I'm going to use the scale tool and scale these guys just a little bit lower. I'm going to deselect and then reselect the very beginning joint so that I have a little bit finer control over the scale. All right, and now we're getting quite close to where we want it. Perfect. And from here, we're pretty good. Now, we can jump right away to testing our, our rig to see what we're working with. So I'm going to go ahead and select operation and select test. And what this does is it'll build up our rig and all of the controls and behaviors that are built in the defaults of this template. And we can see what we're working with. And now we can see that we've got some nice arm IK functionality and nice leg functionality. However, our uh, lower arm is completely disconnected here. So I'm gonna jump back over in operation, select limb setup. And here what I'm going to do is I'm going to reparent that clavicle joint to this spine three joint. And we're gonna do that here in the scene joints hierarchy. I'm just going to collapse a bunch of those and we're going to middle mouse drag and drop the clavicle lower onto the spine SL3 joint. And I'm going to just release there and that will do two things. It'll parent up the joint correctly, but it'll also parent up our newly created clavicle lower right here underneath the proper limb. So we don't need to worry about connecting it anymore. And now let's go ahead and test this out. And now if I grab the control, we can see we've got proper movement of the arm. Now we can select our ar lower arm right here and switch it over to FKIK by selecting the attribute and middle mouse dragging left and right. And here we are in IK mode. And now we see that the IK functionality is now working pro correctly. Cool. Well, this is great for half of our rig, but we still need the other half of the rig to be rigged up. So let's go back to limb setup. Note when jumping back and forth between testing and the operation, all of the controls and joints reset. So you don't need to worry about having stuff out of position. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select all of our lower limbs, scroll down a bit until we find our clavicle lower, and I'm going to right click and first thing I'm going to do is reset the joint scale. Now what this is going to do is because we scaled our joints, all of those joints still have scale values on them. This will remove those scales. Okay, now what we can do is we can right click on those limbs still with all of them selected and just mirror body limbs over the X axis. And now we have a whole set of right limb created. That's great, but we still need some more limbs. We still need the upper body. So let's go ahead and select all of those for the upper arm, as well as the clavicle for that guy. And we're gonna go right click and mirror those over the axis. Okay, now we've got our upper body taken care of. We still need our lower though. So what we're gonna do is scroll down and look for our leg, foot, these guys right here. And we're going to go ahead and mirror those. Again, mirror body, limb, X axis. And now we have all of our limbs here created. Now I'm going to go jump back over to test to make sure everything's still working correctly as we intended it to. Okay, and now I can grab the middle cog 
and we can see that we still we have all of the IKs working correctly. Everything's moving as it should be. Beautiful. So what we can do now is we can jump over to the skinning setup right here under the category skinning setup. Once that's switched over, then we'll switch over the operation to mesh setup, okay? And now we're just gonna do something really, really simple. We have our mesh here in the scene. We're just gonna go ahead and add this mesh um, to our skin meshes pool over here. And now everything is skinned. And if we jump back to test under our operations, we can now test out our rig and it's all skinned and looking great, fantastic. Well, not really. If we turn back the shaded mode, it's actually quite a monstrosity because none of these skin weight values have been painted in. However, you can do that really quickly by switching back over to that mesh mode and then right clicking and paint weight skin tool. It's a nice little shortcut for you. And you can go ahead and paint the values as you desire right here using Maya's painting tool. This will be more fleshed out in future versions. So congratulations, you're a rigger. Wasn't that easy? Want to learn more? Check out the next quick start video for riggers. And thank you for tuning in.